Recently, one of our students asked how he could trigger drum modules in his Eurorack system via Ableton Live and his multi-channel audio interface. There are a number of ways to approach this, but creating a drum rack for this purpose might give us the most efficient results. Drum modules and envelopes usually have a certain voltage threshold which must be crossed to trigger a sound, usually around 2 to 3 volts. To trigger our modules from Ableton, we'll have to send bursts of voltage from our audio interface outputs. The easiest way to do this is to use short audio samples at an appropriate audio level. I'll load a drum rack onto a MIDI channel in Ableton and drag a sample to the C1 cell. I'll use a short hi-hat sample for now. The trick is to get the signal out from this cell to an independent output on the audio interface, rather than the drum rack channel output. I'll click on Audio Effects in the browser and scroll down to the External Audio Effect option and drag that into the device chain after my hi-hat sample. I'll set the External Audio Effect Audio 2 menu to an output on my audio interface, preferably not the one routed to the speakers. I'll route that output on the interface to the trigger input on the Bacimulus Iteritis from Noise Engineering. No triggers yet, so let's take a look at the hi-hat sample in Simpler. I'll make sure it's in classic mode, and then focus on the amp envelope and volume section. Let's turn the volume up from negative 12 dB to around zero, and try triggering our module again. Now we're getting a result. However, you might experience multiple triggers. Noisy peaks in the sample waveform may cause this. Let's trim down our amp envelope so that instead of the full hi-hat sample, we'll only get a sudden burst of sound and then silence. I'll reduce both the sustain and release down to 0% and shorten the decay time to around 50 milliseconds. We can also zoom in and edit the sample start time and length to ensure that our sample will start as soon as it's triggered. Now we're getting some results. I'll select the simpler by clicking the title bar and also select the external audio effect by holding the shift button and clicking its title bar and copy them both by hitting command C. I'll click on the C sharp 1 cell and click again in the device section, pasting the simpler and external audio effect into this cell by pressing Command V. I'll make sure to switch the external audio effect audio 2 menu to the next available audio output, and then repeat the process two or more times, depending on how many drum modules we'd like to sequence. Sequencing modular drums is now exactly like working with any other Ableton drum rack. We can also rename each cell, so it's easier to keep track of our MIDI clips. Even better, we can now use the Ableton MIDI effects to inject more variation into our beats, including the random note tool. Are you using Ableton with your modular system? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.